it's dizzy. I'm getting ready to do some firewood. This is a load that I got last week and I just haven't had the chance to do anything with it and uh, just been really tired. But I have seen YouTube videos and heard people say that when you're getting firewood you don't want to use down trees. Well, the wood that I have here, this is cherry. This is some really, 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 really nice wood. Part of it was standing dead, the rest of it was down. Of course, there had been some insect damage to it. You can see that's pretty much hollow there, but that's okay. The outside is still good. And this is an oak. And this it's got some insect damage on the outside and yeah that part will pull off so that part itself might not be good but the majority of this is nice solid wood yeah there is wood that you shouldn't use because you cut it you split it you burn it you get no heat out of it wood like that yes leave however other wood that you get that's down is fine. There are some advantages to using down trees. Number one, the tree's already down. You don't have to cut it down, which is going to save you some time for one thing. For another thing, if it's already down, you don't have to cut it. You don't have to worry about it having to fall the wrong way and fall on something. You don't have to worry about it falling in such a way that it actually falls on you and injures or kills you. Uh, another thing, depending on how long it's been down, the tree could already be seasoned. Uh, don't remember off the top of my head how long it takes for the wood to season, but I'm thinking it goes like an inch, inch and a third per year, inch and a half, something like that, into the tree to season it. So when it's down, I said it might already be seasoned, it may not be. Another thing is it can help with the case of wildfires having the clean the wood cleaned up gives it less fuel so hopefully there would be less of a fire burning. Another thing is depending on what you're burning and where you're burning where you're getting the wood as long as you're not bringing something insect damage into the area that you live and it's possibly spreading insects. It can help clean up places that have a lot of insect damage. Now, if I were to walk in the woods next to me and if I wanted to use pine, there's a ton of it down. Um, I haven't really looked at it, but I know that there's been a problem with pines in the area with some type of beetle that's killing all the pines. So even if you have standing dead that you can cut down, it can actually help the forest because of getting rid of potentially harmful insects. The ash that I cut down in my yard earlier, I guess it was last year, I cut down because it had emerald ash borers. So that's something that you want to take into consideration. I get very little green wood. Personally, I'm not a fan of just going down and cutting down perfectly healthy trees for firewood. If you're just doing it for not, no other reason, I have gotten wood from people that have been clearing fields. So that was a good source of firewood and they're trimming back along the electric lines that's a good source trees that are insect damaged yeah they're good but just my take on firewood so i hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something from it and i'll talk at you later